Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Coco Play. Happy birthday to you. So, <clears throat> happy birthday, Coco Play. It's the sixth anniversary. He's turned six years old, and we have six players cheered for us. We're off to a great start. Nothing bad's happening at all. Anyway, if you log in today and until the end of the month, you will get a special outfit. Um, yeah. So, I got mine already. I want to log in early just to see. I'm going to need to go to bed quickly, though, as I'm still having to go to school. We'll talk about that, though. There, here's the outfit once it loads. Never mind, I don't know where. Oh no, it's in, it's in my, uh, box. That's where it's at. That's where it is. The box. <clears throat> anyway, um... Yeah. So, um... How are all of you? I hope you're having a great Cocoa Play birthday. Julie Princess. Wishy, Wishly Starlit Sky Dress. I think that they would release a original gacha on that, but who knows. I know we're getting a Kokopa Play Dolls gacha during the Sugoroku event. But yeah. Anyway, um, there is a new designer gacha. I think I was spinning it, but I don't know. Like, what's the rare rate? 3.7%. Maybe we'll be lucky for a free play. You get a free play, by the way. Yeah. Um. So, if you've been paying attention to the news, you know there is this lovely thing called the coronavirus. And, um. I live in Washington State. Ground zero for coronavirus in the United States. So, um. Yeah. Now, technically, if you hear me, I do sound sick. I don't think I have the coronavirus because I don't know how I would have gotten it because either I got it from a student or from someone else but my family hasn't been sick yet so that I couldn't have gotten it from them unless they have very good immunity and I have poor immunity or I got it while teaching students because I don't go anywhere else only time I went somewhere was to the store and the gas station but that was when I was already getting sick, so I don't think it was from that. Now they are. Whatever thing. Wait, there's a gotcha promo? What? SF Lady Scooter. Interesting. No double promo. But yeah, um, today, Governor Jay Inslee of Washington State, where I live, announced that King Pierce in Snohomish County will be on uh, level 4 quarantine starting Mon uh, Tuesday technically but Monday March 6th March 16th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for six weeks so from then until April 24th that's six weeks of no school I'm student teaching, and my college is unsure what to do, because here's what's happening. It's only for those counties. The other counties aren't really affected, but they might change. My college is in a different county, not in one of those counties at all. So, And a lot of students are not in those counties student teaching. They're in the other counties, like Kitsap, Thurston, Lewis, uh, Clickitat, all of that. Most of them aren't even in where I am at. So I don't know what the hell's going on with my life. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's just a whole slew of things. Now, I don't want to get people infected. And I don't want people to get sick. Because, if you don't know, coronaviruses, the media's making it worse than it should be. But, 
It's basically if you are like 40 and 50 or older or you have underlying health problems, then uh, you are going to be greatly infected with a higher mortality rate than other people. But if you're like a kid or in your teens or your 20s, maybe even 30s, you'll be fine. Like, um, you aren't going to be in any mortal danger because for us, like the us younger people, honestly, our immune system is still developing, so our bodies can like fight against it. But for ones that have already like passed that developmental stage, they're at a greater risk of contracting it. So. <clears throat> so if you're a kid in middle school or high school, you did probably don't need to worry about it. You'll get sick, maybe, if you do contract it. Um, the only problem is if you have any, like, critical health issues. I know there's one student um, in the school that has a certain issue and they haven't attended school. But that's because they have a certain immune system disease. So... That's understandable, but unless you have something like that, then you will be fine, most likely. So, yeah, don't worry about it, because I know a lot of people that watch my videos are kids, but... Um, I don't know what I'm doing with my student teaching anymore. Yay, rare, woohoo. Um, because, uh, they say that I, it might be delayed and our school schedule may be pushed back. Um, the thing is, I am at, my dear cranky face, I guess that's a boy face, but I am currently, I need to complete at least 450 hours, um, and I'm technically started taking over the classroom this week, so I am very confused. My teacher is still here though, so we'll see what happens, but we were preparing homework packets, so yeah, my dear teddy bear, but... For six weeks, that'll be overkill, honestly. But, um, yeah, for student teaching, I'm at 318 hours, and what I'm thinking, I, I need to reach 450 to complete my degree and course. But also that means I might not be able to walk at graduation or anything like that, so that's fun. Um, but more importantly, I have a surgery for a revision of my previous surgery in May. And that'll conflict with this whole thing of the coronavirus if I have to attend school uh, if I get a six week pushback that's going to conflict with that and I already had a wait and schedule that ahead of time because that was one of the earliest things I could get back in uh, December so I don't know what I'm doing with all of this it's just frustrating and annoying but also like I understand because you don't want other people to get sick like Kids, they can contract easily. They don't wash their hands. I'll say, though, a lot of my kids have been asking for hand sanitizer and regularly washing their hands, which is good. Um, but, yeah. Um, they say they've been doing that now, but usually kids, they don't wash their hands. They just get dirty and just, like... They blow their noses into their hands and wipe it on themselves and stuff. They don't wash them. They don't clean themselves. They'll do whatever they can. So, yeah. That's just a bit, um, of a brisk. And if they come home and they give it to their parents or give it to their grandparents and then they spread it to other people who share it somewhere else or if they go to the store and they wipe their hands on stuff. And, um, because uh, the coronavirus, like, it needs to be in a certain type of weather to flourish. And sadly, Washington weather, especially on western Washington, is the perfect weather for it. Because it's not going to be hot enough to kill the germs or cold enough to be, like, I know, 
think they have to be 10 degrees Fahrenheit and 90 degrees Fahrenheit or depending on that so like 10 degrees or lower 90 degrees or higher you just kill it and um yeah that's why you see people like burning stuff on Twitter and TikTok for this coronavirus stuff it's like yeah anyway that's life um so what's gonna happen with the channel now um of course I'll be making videos still but what might happen is I will likely start streaming a lot more often instead of just doing it on the weekend and I might do some videos because oh I should mention that because a lot of school districts are doing online extended learning but my school district doesn't seem to be doing that so yep yeah, I don't know what we're doing We'll we'll be having a meeting and my principal sent me an email we're talking to us so everyone's like hey let's all meet again tomorrow morning in the certain meeting room I haven't seen you guys in two days and I miss all of you like some teachers are like oh man I miss you too like I look so much forward to it because they're joking and we see we have meetings every two weeks so but yeah anyway oh god that's gonna be fun oh boy so I have to get up early tomorrow uh kill me so I'm just like cause like you don't want it to spread and you want to eliminate the virus as best as possible especially in Washington state you also don't want to I don't want to scream at my schedule and all these plans I've had so um, I don't know when the last video I did was. Rita Soul, hi, I've seen you on YouTube and your show is cute. Thank you, Rita Soul. I'm just going to go through this quickly. Hi from the cute little kitty lover. And then, something you may, I love your videos, keep smiling, thank you. Uh, Sonia. Hi Shaj, awesome vids. Could you please make more videos on YouTube? Sorry, bad grammar. I'm not American people, by the way. It's fine, Sonia. Um, yes, I'll make more YouTube videos. I haven't been doing it lately because of school. So usually, uh, what happens is I try to do it while recording immediately after the gotcha goes up, or right before going, right, right when I wake up, and then quickly do it. But I've been so busy because I've actually taken up the teaching like the lead teacher in my classroom so I haven't been able to do that and I'm just trying to get everything else done and then the free time I have I'm using it mostly to keep myself sane so yeah anyway thank you uh Connor Lisa I seen your video and I love them I am your fan I enjoy your video thank you very much Connor Lisa I'm glad you enjoy them and you love them and you are my fan much appreciated Nodon hello how are you Your model is very cool. Thank you, Nordon, as always. You're a great support. And then Under Chen. Hi, I just love your vids. I subscribe. Can we be friends, please? Yes, I'll try to remember to add you tomorrow. Um, I'm sorry. I need to go to bed. Because I only have, like, five hours of sleep now. Because I am just tired and stressed and worried about what's going to happen. So I've just been staying up. And like, I'm tired now, but I'm also staying up because I'm worried. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. We'll survive. I know we'll survive. Just, uh, struggling to figure out what we'll do. Anyway, uh, thank you all for your continued support. Expect some more videos quicker. But of course, when I go back into the teaching position, don't expect that. Like before, I was saying I'll probably start making videos more often by April 13th. Well, we're a month ahead. <laughs> but of course, we'll be taking our pause. But, um, yep. Anyway, good luck, everyone. Have a lovely little day. See you in the next one. Happy birthday, Cookbook Play. Good luck. Stay safe out there. Poof, poof.